Captain Dave Man here. Hello, YouTube. Hey, I'm here today with my beautiful Filipino wife, and she's going to demonstrate for you today how to clean a chicken. Hi. What are you doing? Butchering the chicken. Oh, okay. Uh, so first, you dispatch the chicken, and. There are many ways to do so. You can um, wring their neck. You can cut their throats. There's probably a lot of ways you can do it. But uh, today, what we did is we dispatched them with a 22 single shot to the head because they were being difficult to catch. But anyhow, back to my wife. So, what are you preparing to do now? I'm going to dip this in the boiling water. In the boiling water? Yeah. Why? So I know I why, can, but tell the people. So I can pluck it. Easier to pluck. So you're saying dipping it into the boiling water loosens the, the feathers? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Dip it all and How long do you want to keep him in there? Oh, not too long, because if you do it too long, you're going to cook the meat. Oh, it's just enough yeah. to open the pores, so it'll be easier to get the feathers. That's enough. Yeah. yeah. So, what kind of chicken do you have there? A Cornish. A dark Cornish? Dark Cornish chicken. Yeah. It's easier to pluck like that. So a dark Cornish, that's a meat chicken, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Are you excited? Why? Because this is what we do when, um, this is how we eat uh, meat when we're kids in the Philippines and we eat chicken meat. We pluck them and chase them around and we burn a lot of uh, calories and energies first before we can eat the chicken we have to we have to chase them in in the yard so we do this when we're kids but not very often yeah so so uh, how do you feel about uh you know compared to like our we the way we raised our birds and the way you raised your birds in the philippines compared to like say uh a big old fat chicken at a Walmart. What do you think about that? Oh, I think that's kind of gross. The the Walmart chickens? Yeah, because they're so fat and I don't know. It don't look right to me. I don't know. You know why they don't but, look right? I eat it because we have no choice but to buy it from the store. Until now. Right? Until now. Yeah. But I still think it's going to... It's just like different, I guess. You know why you they're, feel that way? Because they're, they're not really a natural... They've been, uh, you know, bred and genetically changed, and they say they're not genetic, it's just the breed, but the chicken lays around and eats so much that it gets fat and its legs are break. There's something wrong. Yeah. So this is yeah, my kind of like chicken here. They have meat in the breast, but at the same time, they are, um, they're not so really heavy looking yeah for their, this is a free range bird yeah these chickens yeah. we I raise them no steroids oh. no antibiotics I feel bad killing these chickens because I raise them from baby but hey mama gonna eat <laughs> so this is just about right for me like this kind of chicken right yeah there. Compared to a, a, a chicken you buy in the grocery store, he looks he looks really thin, don't he? But that's yeah, the way yeah. a normal bird should look. Yep. That's the way a real chicken looks like that hasn't been uh, engineered to be uh, 10 pounds or whatever they are. Yeah, what, I think this is just like, um, what, 4 pounds? I'm not sure. I doubt if it's that much. The gut is still yeah. there. But he's lived a good life. He's ran around and ate bugs and... Had lady friends. And this is, um, how many months are they now? Um, 
May 7th they were born. Almost five months. Yeah, when we're, um, I remember when we were kids in the Philippines, when mom said... Four and a half months, or something like that. When mom said, we're going to have chicken tonight. Oh boy, we're all excited because we're going to have meat because we don't really eat a lot of meat. We just usually eat a lot of vegetables. And then um, we have to chase them and cook them with just with coconut milk and uh, some vegetables is wild from the wild from my dad's coconut farm. Meat was almost like a not a main course, but more like a. Uh, a spice, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, just... when, when we're kids, we, it's just um, probably like lucky if we get, if I, each of us, lucky if we get um, three uh, pieces of a chicken about this big, because mom have to save the chicken breast for later so we can have more meat later on, like tomorrow. And then we don't have refrigerators. We don't have a fridge. My mom have to put, cover it with salt and then just put it in the, in the cabinet, store it there so we can have it tomorrow. Of course, it's gonna be really, really salty the next day. And we put it with the vegetables, but when it's with the vegetables already, it's not gonna be too salty. I'm gonna have to dip the Adidas. The Adidas? Is he wearing tennis shoes? No, this is what we call the Adidas. We eat them. The feet? Yeah. Yeah. They're good. So, how would you prepare that foot? Um, depends how you want to do it, but I think I am going to just, uh, what do you call that? Um, like, make a, a adobo. Cook it with with um, soy sauce, maybe, or I think tomorrow or whenever I'm gonna grill this, and then after I grill it, I'm gonna just dip it with the yeah. spicy vinegar. Yeah. So you got the chicken all plucked and nice and cleaned off. Um, what's in your hand? Torch. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> We're going to burn the baby hairs. Chicken hairs? Or the pin or feathers? Baby feathers. Okay. So we're just going to do it like this and it's on, right? Okay, do you guys have a torch on. in the Philippines? No, we don't. You'll hear it hiss when it's on, hon. Hear it? There you go. Yeah. So if you're in the Philippines, you don't have a torch, what would you use? Just like a campfire? Yeah. Did you get them all? I hope I did. I think so, I did. There's still some there, but... Oh, no, no, you did a pretty good job plucking. Look at that, thank you. So now, what we're going to do is to start butchering the chicken. The exciting part, getting close to eat it. I'm going to turn it off to make sure. 
can that sink in? I hope it is. It's fine. Okay, now. First. Ready? They're all clean. What to do? The head first. There, we don't want that, but in the Philippines, there's no going nowhere Get to eat it. But like my husband said, I'm not in the Philippines no more. Well, that in the 22 pretty much shelled his head. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the feet. So, I know you didn't have a 22 in the Philippines. How would you guys killed that in the Philippines? What would you then? How would you have uh, dispatched that chicken? Hold the feet. Hold the wings. And then the other person start doing like this the neck. Yeah. Until all that blood come out. And now the, you didn't waste the blood, right? No, we didn't. That's why I feel so bad that we wasted this. This is rich in iron, the blood. I think. I hope I am right. And it's good for. I think it's good for everybody. What? Well, well, I mean, what did you do with the blood? I know you just didn't put it in a jug and drink it. What'd you... No, we we cook, <laughs> we cook it with the chickens. You make with... like gravy with it, or no? We we'll make um soup. Okay. So... I'm gonna cut the feet, the Adidas. Oops, I missed that one. There. Is there a certain spot you uh, cut those at? Right yeah. at the little knuckle, right. at the ankle. The knuckle, yep. Okay. And you want to cut all the little nails there. You're manicuring the feet. That one. It's a keeper. That's a keeper. Now on that wing, you want to explain to where you're cutting? That's wings? Yeah, explain where you're cutting. Show us, yeah, show us where you're cutting. Right there. Under the armpit, under underneath. The armpit. Right on that on that shoulder knuckle, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and then you're going to just find that, um, whatever you call those. those the knuckle, yeah, yeah. The joint. I'm going to see it. Then. There. And we're going to go get to the legs and we're cutting that right inside right mm -hmm. can you hold that part huh me yeah just all right that part. so okay. you cut the legs and all this off before you remove the the intestines and stuff yeah okay well we can do the intestine first i guess i think that's more makes sense but when we're kids, this is how we do it, and we just pretty much learn ourselves how to cut it. Oh, you look like you're doing a really good job. Thank you. Okay, so you cut the legs off. What's next? What are you doing? Uh, we're going to remove the guts. Okay. Get that one there. I'm sure other people have other way to do it, but this is just how, how we do it. I'm just gonna have to be very careful not to cut the guts. And why is that? Because it's gonna be all over your meat. Ah. But if it did, that's no big deal. You can always wash it. an accident 
So in the Philippines, here in the United States, pretty much every, some people eat the liver and the, um, and, uh, shoot, what's that other thing they eat? Is it the craw? Mm. Or the giblets, they call them? What, 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 do you guys eat everything in the Philippines, pretty much? Well, not the craw. No. But I'm going to show you in just a minute. What's this thing here? It's the craw. That. Oh, that one? That's yeah. the giblets. That's Gi the... Yeah. Giblets. Okay, yeah, they eat those. So in the Philippines, you guys will clean the intestines out, correct? Mm -hmm. Fry them until they're crispy? Uh, we grill it. Oh, here's oh, that's the, right. You put them on like a skewer, here's right? Here's the... Um, craw? Craw. Yeah. Carefully, I'm gonna have to take this out because I want this part. What is that part? Kidney? A kidney, yeah. Have to do it really carefully so it don't get poopy in there. And then I'm looking for. Uh, there is some. There, I don't know what happened to it. There's one hanging off you there. So, no. no, there's kind of like green color sometimes. Oh, the gallbladder? Yeah, it hide there somewhere. It's right there. No, the, the gallbladder. It's kind of like green, but this one don't have it. I'm not sure. Then, to take this out now, very carefully so we don't get the poop. The meat. I hope I don't cut it. I usually do cut it. Mm. Want that part. Yeah. Here we got it. No, since my husband is gonna be gross out probably, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away. But can I keep this? Please. This well, one? You don't want to keep that. Okay. I'll buy you a cheeseburger. Oh. <laughs> I don't need that one. So you're gonna open this. So the giblets. Because sometimes, if you get lucky, you don't need to deal with the poop. You are just careful about this, but I don't know if I'm going to have that good luck. Get this out. Okay. I don't want to damage the side part so the poop will not gonna be all over. So you just have to roll it, roll it carefully. Ooh, the end part is a little bit thin, but we got most of it out. There it is. Nice, tidy, tidy. There's all the poop there. It's all clean. Good this job. is the one we want. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of poopy there, but we can wash that. Okay, now, I need the spray. Can I have the spray, please? Dirty. Okay, like that. And the 
just a little part right there. I'm going to clean that too. See? Nice. No pulp. This is going to be nummy. But I'm going to go ahead and wash this again. <laughs> and clean. Smells like dinner. <laughs> and then now, go ahead and cut this. Oop. And this is what, the back? Yep. My dad will keep this thing here, but I don't. As I said, we don't waste a whole lot, but um, I'm gonna cut it randomly because I'm just gonna make a soup out of it or I'm gonna make a chicken broth and I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie from this breast and from the legs maybe it depends what they want and this one this little thing right here it look like a little nipple you're gonna have to chicken nipple <laughs> Whatever you call it, you want to cut that one, you don't want those, because it's really oily. Oh, is that their little oil gland thing that they... Yeah. Yeah. They already have enough oil in their skin. It smells good now. So I'm going to use that for soup. And I'm just going to... I forgot about this. I can take this out too. Right there. Where's the end of it? I think I got it. And the neck is good. <laughs> I'm gonna wash that later. my little breast there. Get that. Watch this one. And I'm removing this. We don't want this one. Do you guys eat this here in America? No. Yeah, we remove that one. That's the lungs, right? Yep. Yeah. This one, I'm just gonna make a chicken broth out of it. That's why I'm just cutting it randomly, like that. And this one, I think I'm gonna cut this in half. So you there, cut that right at the joint, right? Yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this in the freezer, just like this, two little pieces, because later on, I maybe decide to just fry it and Roll it in the flour, have the skin attached there. I can always cut them in small pieces later on. In the wings, I wanna... Cut them in pieces too, always look for the joint. Always cut it like this. This one them too yeah their wings I made my husband um, um, spicy chicken wings buffalo wings oh buffalo wings I'll put them in the ziplock pack all together all the chicken um, fly or chicken wings and fry it later for Buffalo wings. Actually, I don't need to remove that. Eat it. 
So this one, I'll keep this intact like that because I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie later. I'll just throw it in the freezer just like that. And here you go. Here's your Adidas, the favorite part. There you have it. All right, say goodbye, babe. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All right, YouTube, there you have it. Filipino style cleaned and butchered chicken. Uh, this is Captain Dave Man saying peace out. Trust nobody, question everything. You have a God day.